Welcome back, everyone, to another Bloodline video. It's your boy, Steven Ryan, back at it again. Mm. Got a good one for you. Going to pull some baseball cards. Before we get into it, we're going every, to remind everyone to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell if you want to be alerted of new cool videos that we put out. Yep. And, uh, yeah, give us a like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, now that that's out of the way, semantics. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's <this> typical. <laughs> Ripping something we normally do not rip on the channel, and that is Panini Baseball. Yeah. We don't rip a lot of it. Don't really like ripping the unlicensed stuff. But for 90 bucks, uh, you're going to get eight cards per pack, 12 packs per box. So you're looking at almost 100 cards. Mm -hmm. Of 2022, Diamond King is going to find two autos or memorabilia, probably memorabilia, uh, <laughs> per box. But we're looking for the Blackout and the new Le Clean. I don't know. That looks French. But you're going to take a look at this hobby box of Diamond Kings. And um, this is a, it's a, it's a art arty if you want to hand me the knife an artsy type product i ripped some of it last year but i don't think we did for the channel yeah i know because I know, I know i i opened some I, opened, I think i opened like a hanger box or something um yeah i think off the channel i mean it's just like like steve's saying we don't rip that much of the unlicensed so panini all the panini baseball products are all unlicensed <laughs> so we don't like to rip it because all the license stuff is tops is owns all the license and that's where if you want to chase any baseball product that's where you want to go but i mean some of the panini cards still hold yeah. some value so if you get a good auto from like select or um yeah and Prism. that's and that's the thing that we were i was going to mention is if you get the the autos the good players the uh, you know top rookies and stuff you st you still can sell them and you can easily make your money back because still an autograph of the top rookie but yeah. you may not have his logo on his helmet or hat or his Team, jersey yeah. but yeah like it just looks like a plain blue you know alex rodriguez that kind of looks like when he played with the rangers, rangers. um jose a gray rookie card curtis terry rookie card for the twins joe jackson so the set list has a lot of you know, new vets or, you know, players currently active, mm -hmm. rookies, recently retired. I mean, all the way back in baseball, as you've seen some of these, um, Randy or Rosarina, the artist palette's a really nice card. And a Jake Myers mm -hmm. rookie. This is a different rookie than the other one. Um, it's, it's very, it's very, like you said, very artistic. Very yeah, like you have set, Joe Jackson. But... Is this shoeless Joe Jackson? Let me know down in the comments if this is Shoeless Joe Jackson. Shoeless Joe? I think it is, yeah. but my baseball history is a little fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando Tatis. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Rookie card of Juan Yips. Yep, yep, yep. Vindal, I don't know how to say some of these names. Ty France, he's off to a hot start. A aficionado, Bob Feller, from the Cleveland, well, then Indians, now Guardians. <laughs> Jaron Duran. I forgot about that. What? That the, their name is. Oh, yeah, now the Guardians. It's the weird. Guardians. Because I keep referring to them as the Indians, which is not the case anymore. Yeah. Huh. But no, no thick cards. So we are, we are still wander hunting. Yeah, just want everyone to know you still can pull Wander Franco, Edward Cabrera, Seth Beer. I like him. It, it's it's funny, funny story. I was watching <laughs> as it, it's related to Seth Beer. Okay. Um, <laughs> Earlier in the season, they had, it was like National Beer Day. And uh, <laughs> and I was happened to be watching the Arizona Diamondbacks game as we're looking at a Maestros, Xander Bogarts, butcher that, Kevin Smith. But on National Beer Day, Kevin Beer, Seth Beer mm -hmm. went, oh, I think he went like three for four, but hit two home runs. 
So he had a two home. Seth Beer had a two home run day on National Beer Day, and it was just like, I don't know. It was a fun story. <laughs> it was just a fun <laughs> story. Don't know exactly where I was going with that. I just thought it was a nice, nice tidbit. Ernie Banks, Matt Bush, Brush, Brush. Look at the back of these cards. It almost seems like you know how. Um... Here's a gray border of Ketel Marte. This is a nice little. Now, they do have colored borders. I don't think they're numbered, but you can get different. You know, I remember last year I pulled red yeah. borders. I think those are more retail. But it says one find two uh, gray frame and one plum frame parallel. There you go. And I imagine plum's plum's going to be like a dark maroon. Yep. Bryce Harper modern modern strokes man talking not going well for me today but that's a nice card and what is the uh, Camilla Duvall what's the set that just came out um not crown is it crown crown royal because all well, I'm looking at the back of these and you know these are they're numbered you know this is three this is like one so you know they have different like sets of series, mm -hmm. or maybe it's Court Kings. Court Kings is Court the Kings. one. Court Kings, yeah. It's pro this is the same, same style of product as Court King, just different name. Gotcha. So, looks like we're gonna have a relic here. If I don't mess everything up, which is bound to happen. Jordan, do we save the relic? That's a million dollar question. You know. Jordan it is a big relic too. Hornus Wagner. Paul Goldschmidt. Brian De La Cruz. He's a good rookie to get. Connor Wong. You know what? I am going to save it. So we're going to put, put one from the back, which is a Kyle Miller. Which is like the level three. And then this is a Ty Cobb. Art of Hitting. Nice card. Very nice. So we're gonna save that relic. Hopefully, it's a relic auto. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. That would be nice. But It'd be one of our hits. It's behind that Connor Wong. Just want to make sure it doesn't pop up. <laughs> you know, I made that mistake last video where in the first pack our autograph. If you haven't checked it out, we ripped Revolution Basketball last time, and the autograph came out of the very first pack. But yeah. that was a that was a hot box. Gavin Sheets, he's a good rookie. Wander Franco base rookie. There we go. Wanda. Franco. Nice little card. I don't see any numbered cards coming out. I'm not looking too hard, though. Cal Lewis, Gallery of the Stars. AJ Axley, rookie card. You know, I've been watching the Rangers a lot this year. I don't think I've seen him play yet. Oh, the one thing I hate about these packs is they're a little tough to open. <laughs> <laughs> and we have another relic. Ed Roosh. Javi Baez. Jose Altuve. Hmm. O'Neal Cruz. Or is he the rookie? I don't know. There's two pirate rookies that are going to be solid. <laughs> so we'll pull from the back. Matt Verling. Rookie. And a Bryce Harper artist palette. So there's both of our hits. We got a couple more packs to get through, and then we will reveal those hits. Oh, baby. <laughs> the, the one, the, the first one looks a lot more thick than the, our second one. A lot thicker, you mean? <laughs> more thick, thicker, you know. Whichever one's more proper English. <laughs> English, another strong suit. Apparently not. It's the only language you speak, though. <laughs> Very true. Otto Lopez. Mookie mm -hmm. Betts. It's a fancy card. Aficionado. And then a Thomas Skopinski. Not sure. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired of pulling these out of the box. Go away, box. Oh, I, I lied when I said I have four packs. Now I have four packs. <laughs> There's a hidden pack. There's more. They just keep on coming. I know. Joe Ronan, Nolan, Mike Trout, nice. Chris McCormick. Mike Trout's been playing good. 
Ooh, back to back Chris McCormick's, and then there's an auto proof numbered 45 to 49. First autograph coming out of Diamond Kings. That's a nice artist proof. I really like that. Christian Yelich hit for the cycle the other day. Modern Strokes, Aaron Judge, and then Patrick. Wow, oh, not sure. <laughs> Those are cool worth the cards, though. 45 to 49. Very nice, very nice. So just to kind of recap, I, how would you feel about the design? I was going to, as I say, I'm going to recap and then change. <laughs> um, Design-wise, I, I like the design. I love all the, the colorful inserts and love kind of the, I guess necessarily like the vibe and stuff of the cars, especially especially the inserts, especially those those different off color types of cars. Yeah, like the stuff. Maestros and you know, manifestos. Oh, is the... that... That's not manifesto. Where do you see an F in that? Oh. The Maestros. Maestros, Maestros. <laughs> not sure what it is, but And then whatever I don't even know what I don't know what everything's called, but you know, all the little different types of inserts they have look great. Uh, base wise, you know Reed not Detmer, the strongest. He just threw a, a no hitter the other day. Mm. He's gonna be a nice star for the Angels. Luke Williams. And then here's another gray border. Charlie Blackman with the Colorado Rockies. Or it can I don't know. Joe Ryan. Minnesota Twins. Overall, I mean I like depending... the, I think I like these rookies better. I don't know yeah. if I like these or if I like this, because I like those. I like the, the color. The color blast looking ones? Yeah. But blast back me. in a dream. <laughs> but, you know, I for what, $90? You can't necessarily no, complain. No, Can't complain at all. I mean, we may complain after we look at our what we got, but... Ah, well, there's always room <laughs> for complaining. Cool Papa Bell. Interesting name there. Joey Votto. Romy Gonzalez. And then there's our Plum. Plum. Rookie of Thomas again, the guy I can't pronounce, Benunsky, but it really just looks like one of those color blasts with yeah. a, a border around with the it. Border. As you can see, or you can't see, but it's a little raised, so it's almost like a picture frame. Mm -hmm. Mookie Betts, Colorado's Trevor Story now in Boston, and then Andre Jackson rookie card for the Dodgers. So that wraps up the cards. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get into these. Dude. Relics. I got it. So I'm pretty sure we'll go with the thinner one, which is going to be under Tony Stallion. Let's see what we can get. Let me get one of these oh, rookies and I'll flip it over. Baby. All right. An Alec Boom. Oh, that's mm. nice. Very nice. He's off to a hot start offensive offensively. He was hitting over 300 last I saw. Nice. That's a nice little card. Okay, I, I that's I really like the design of that that relic. Yeah. Really, just it's it's just different. Yeah, it's, it's a just, really yeah. The art the artwork design is so it's just. So this was the first relic that we set aside. Oh wait. Which side's the back? Which side's the front? Okay, this is the front. I was right. So let's see what we got. Hans. Oh, Ooh. a dual Ooh. patch. R not an RPA, but dual patch auto of patch Hans Kroos. 74 out of 99. 99. That's very nice. Hey, we got a patch auto. No, no. Like <laughs> we got a patch auto. Let's go. That's what I would hope. What else hoping for? Never heard of. I'm say I don't know what team he plays for because I can't. <laughs> Sorry, that's Philly. So he's Phillies. Phillies. Oh, okay. He's pictured as a Philly. I think he's a pitcher, definitely. That's nice. No, that's bad. Beautiful design. Well, he's able to pull Wander Franco out of one of these. I don't even know. I haven't looked at the checklist, so I don't know if he's pullable. Um. But man, those are. That was a nice card. Mm-hmm. We'll have to uh, design-wise. We'll have to go into our pitcher collection. 
ever growing. I'm sure a lot of people's are ever growing. Ever growing picture collection. <laughs> so here is our hits of the box. Got a patch and then an RPA. I'm glad I saved this one for last. Yeah. <laughs> so nice, beautiful cards. We did get a press uh, or artist, artist proof artist of proof. Chris McCormick. He's a he's a pretty solid rookie to have with the always dangerous Houston Astros. And then we did pull a Wander Franco base somewhere. Yep. Or I don't know if this would classify a base. I don't know which. I think it's a base. That's since it's one. If you check on the, if you can look on the back, that's what I was saying. It's like uh, the, you know. So would you say these, so these are more rare? than these or are they just this. different classifications not rarely uh, let us know down in the comments we're obviously going to do some research after we hit the I stop would say, button, but i know for a fact these are more rare since they have the three on them so ryan's saying these are more rare so we picked up the most common wander franco card mm -hmm. cool good to know good to know well let us know down in the comments what you think of diamond kings are you picking any up if not completely understand <laughs> we know it doesn't necessarily have the resale value but if you're just adding to your collection i think it's a nice set it's a colorful set beautiful set only downside as always is not having the licensing which is why we don't get into them too often yep. but every now and then we might crack a hobby box so because yeah. I, I think select baseball is coming out in like a month and i can i can see myself getting that. and it's like what three autos for two or three it's like two or three autos and it's like a hundred and something dollars. yeah for the chance to get a, a wander out oh, of yeah. like prism or select baseball yeah i think i think i'll rip yeah some of that but otherwise yep that'll do it well that'll <laughs> that'll do it for this video again let us know what you thought think in the comments be sure to hit that subscribe button notification bell and like always until next time y'all we'll, we'll catch, catch you later, later.